Triss could not help Geralt, yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an oneromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. Prepare for battle! You shall not have it easy this time! Brought friends? <laughs> they all pledged to defend Maid Bilberry's honor too? No. No, no, they defend justice! For it is only fair you face a threesome. Is that so? Yes! For you are a rogue and a cheat, sir! You never revealed yourself to be a witcher! You'd better go home, get some sleep, think things over tomorrow. Wise words. Don't know about you two. 
But I'm feeling a bit sleepy. Yeah. We're done here. Eh? No regrets, not your stomping ground. Right here. Come here. What is it? We're a problem, Master Witcher. Mate of ours got injured, and we can't seem to find him. Poor lad could bleed to death. You track many a monster. Would you sniff our friend out as well? We're willing to pay. Why not? Short delay won't hurt. Lead the way, Master Witcher. Quick as you can, though. Poor lad needs help. Need some kind of lead first. Any clues? Yeah, yeah, he ran. Toward the port. Came out of the sewers. Sewers? Should be an easy scent to follow. B, the more I drink, the clearer I think. Now you... the eight. Good prints. Traces of sewer slime. You look familiar. Take pity, sir. I've a sick child. Even more misery besides. Why are you bothering him, you grub? Can't you see he's busy? Blood. Fresh. Gotcha, Horsen. That was five stone with the purest fist tech you put to the torch. Do you know what it was worth? All right, Witchman. Take your coin, bugger off. Leave him alone. Wonder of wonders. A witcher defending a mage hunter. Next we'll have my stick it up for cats. I'm not joking. Ain't ya? Fine, we'll talk serious then. I didn't expect help from the likes of you. Shouldn't be so quick to judge, maybe. A lesson your colleagues could use, too. Listen, I've lost... much blood. I need a medic to patch me up. Quickly! W will you help? Huh. You hunters sure are polite when you need something. Fine. Do you a favor, against my better judgment. Give me your hand.
trouble with Grydox. Faster. Take it easy. March back in the look, though. Commander, it's full of monsters and traps. It dragged out four weeks. Chest completely crushed. Ribs must have pierced the lungs. Having trouble? Nothing fucking but. One ploughing trouble after the other. But what's it to you? Who are you? Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Radovid sent me. No, oh, it's you. I've been waiting for you. Word was you hadn't been able to get inside. Till yesterday, when we found this. Doesn't look like much, but it's got power of some sort. Opens the entrance. Good work. Saved me some time. We're thrilled. Think Philip is still inside? That we don't know. Only certain thing is, she was there at some point. Certain? How's that? We've been after her since Loch Muin. Poking out her eyes weren't enough. Radovid should have gutted her there and then. As it is, she turned into an owl and fled. Flew across Kedwin and Redania. Then, tucked herself away here. What can I expect to find inside? Everything. Anything. It's an old elven temple, the witch Isleheart turned into her hideout. Look at him. Fell into some magic trap, then monsters attacked him. Barely got out alive. Any of your men still down there? A dozen or so went in. They's all that came out. The rest are probably dead. Time I saw her, Philip is still in there. Don't count on anyone going in to retrieve your corpse. What do you reckon? Think you'll find something. That cutthroat. <laughs> Not on your life. He is a witch. that opens this door. Missing one tile. Perfect hideout for an owl. Be a bit harder for me to move around. Necker 
this. Might have expected as much. They love places like this. How long has that made me wait? Self of portals. Feels dead. Maybe a sign will revive it. Should work now. Stay back. Not one step closer. Sheathe that before you hurt yourself. Wait, wait, wait. You, you, you that witcher the king was supposed to send? Guessed it. You should know by now how dangerous this place is. On a way up above with the others. Not a chance. Those cowards ran at the first whiff of monsters. I made a stiffer stuff. Besides, something big set to happen here. I just know it. I learn what it is. Radovid will appreciate it. King will promote me. Maybe even give me a medal. Think Philip is still here? Can't really know. Sure, we searched a few caverns, but hidden nooks abound. If someone wanted to hide in here, they could easily. Even if they weren't an owl. What's the big event that's supposed to happen? Uh, don't know the details, but I came across Philippa Eilhart's notes. Mentioned Ida Emian, Margarita Lowe and Teal, Francesca Finderbear. Frangela Vigo. As I see it, they aim to meet here. All right. Let's get you out of here. Told you already. No chance. Besides, the teleport's power cell. I broke it off. We have to wait till they come for us. Got no choice. Nobody's gonna come for us. Give me the crystal. I'll get us out of here. But the monsters? I'll defend you. What if you can't? Be a good little hunter and give me the crystal. I am a good little hunter. There you go. Mm. Love letters. Some woman for Dijkstra. Another feather. Doubt Philip had an aviary. These are signs of polymorphy.
Should work now. Not a chip. Beside. Think for the car up. What's the uh, mention? All right. Told your what well, the monster? I'll def. What if? Another feather. Doubt Philippa had an aviary. These are signs of polymorphy.
chairs. Modest, but a home nonetheless. Agates. Kind Philip always wore around her neck. Except, why are these covered in blood? She either fought someone, or used them in her experiments. Hmm. <laughs> What's this? Aniseed and birch bark. Powerful disinfectant. Blood-stained surgical instruments. Philippa operated on someone here. Notes. Charred. Almost completely. Can't read a thing. A megascope. Scorched. Covered in soot. Maybe one of the crystals survived. A megascope. Scorched. Covered in soot. Maybe one of the crystals survived. Crystal from a megascope. Heavily chipped. You're alive. Find anything? Dust, dirt, and a megascope crystal. Whatever the hell that is. But good chance is important. Hand it here, we'll see the king gets it. Forgetting yourself. Save your orders for your men. As you wish. Grab him! <laughs> <Stop it. laughs> 
That's enough of that. This is the ship of His Majesty Radovid V, King of Redania. State your business. I want to see the King. It's about Philippa Eilhart. If that's the case, come with me. But no sudden moves. Got my eye on you. Witcher, any progress? Have you found Eilhart? No, I wasn't in her hideout, but I found this crystal there. If I'd wanted a shiny bauble, I would have gone to a jeweler. You were to bring me Eilhart. This is a Megascope crystal. The mages you keep in prison should be able to extract something from it. Yes. Oh, at last. They might prove useful. Not exactly what I expected, but... Very well. You've earned your pay. Now forgive me. I have affairs to which you must attend.
Witcher. Greetings. I want my coin. Where is it? There, take it. Twice the sum, as agreed, I keep my word. Sure, second time around. Never mind. Thank you and farewell. Take it easy. to fight Smithy. There's a prize awaiting if you win. What? What is it, Grey Boy? Smithy here is villain. Look to me like a fierce fisted fighter. Just right for our tournament. It's your chance to slap around some yokels, win some coin for the pleasure. You in? I'm ready to fight. One and all, hear this. Betting on the next brawl will begin in mere moments. The Witcher will face Smithy. He'll pound his gob like he pounds hot iron ingots. champion yet you've still Jonah to beat best of luck beat me when she wants to beat me off what's the rush Edges were biting on account of this downpour. Huh? 
the Lord. Will you join the tournament? Eh? A bit of honest fist fighting to clear the lungs and bowels. Though I warn you, <laughs> Jordan can be fierce. Likes to bite. Get me? So, what'll it be? All right. Let's see just how fierce Jonah is. Feast your eyes on an epic clash between Jonah and the Drifter. Come on. Drifters defeated Jonah. Could this be a new champion of Velen in the making? Who can tell? If you want to be champion, go to Crow's Perch and ask for the sergeant. I'll try your strength in Novigrad. The fight there too. Same in Skellige. Mages were fighting on account of this downpour. May I assist you? Wouldn't mind a look at... Wouldn't mind.
So long. So long. Come inside. Oh. Oh. The winner, which is whooped to all challenges. I'm ready. Ha! Huh? Look who we have here. Business seems good, even with the Baron gone. Life's short, but art's eternal. Let's start. All right, come to Daddy. How long you gonna make me wait? <laughs> what a fight! Let it be known by one and all that the Witcher has defeated the Sergeant and become champion of all Velen! If you've not had your fill, you'll find worthy pugilists elsewhere. Plenty of them in Novigrad. Plenty in the Skelliger Isles. Deserve your Used to be wagons showed on market days, loaded with all kinds of fat. Can we talk? Aye. Long as it's short and to the point, cos I don't wag me tongue for jollies. They call me Radko. I arrange the horse races here. You must have heard talk. Wanna try? Say the word. Don't sod off. Wanna sign up? Don't need no signing. Long as you're here, come sunset and bring gold for the betting. Ah, finally here. Rules are simple. Choose who you're gonna run against, make your wager, then ride to Black Baron back. 
First the winner, second the bleeding cunt. Got it? So, who are you gonna race? Stuttering m, -m, -m matko Iron Arse Hands, or Black Bogdan? I'll take stuttering Matt. Yeah, 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 you'll s s say, I I I I'll, I'll, ah, fuck it. Come on, let's set the wager and get racing. Unearthly witcher senses, they prattle on about them. Yet you just got outrun by a common grunt. Lost your gold? But get some more, and I'll arrange a rematch. All right. So, what'll it be? Want it? Don't. Good day, Grey. So, who you got? Ride against Black Bogdan this time. Take you for a ride, all right. Come on, let's set the wager. Come on, Roach. Nice, nice. You seem to know horses as well as you do monsters. Here's your go. And if the urge to race again grabs you, come see me. <laughs> Who else is racing? Hey ya! Uh. 
Come on. Folk don't object to your white monk. What's he doing here? <laughs> what was it? Was it the faultiest again? Flora. Oh, no sign of recognition in your eyes. Greetings, uh... Don't fret. I'm sure I look quite different from when we last saw each other. Uh, which was? Oh, eons ago. You and Master Dandelion appeared, two halflings in tow. What a smash they were, the little chaps. We recount that night to this day. Yeah, sorry, but I'm here to... Speak softly. I know very well why you're here. They await. This way, please. This way. Upstairs. My friend Jamie. Which you're getting missing. Up you go. Horses be white. Geralt, you're here. Good. Might have chosen a more secluded spot to plot an assassination. It's on everyone's mind. Many would like to do it so there's nothing to fear. Besides, this venue's got a tradition in this domain. Might even consider it fabled. Falker planned her revolt here. By extension, King Vrydank's murder, too. Comparing yourself to Falker? As far as I can recall, no one in Redania's annals has a bloodier reputation. Her rebellion changed the course of history. That's what we have in common. In terms of blood, we aim only to shed Radovids. I'm pleased you're willing to play a part. Must admit, I wasn't certain you'd show. said that Triss and Yen would never be safe as long as Radovid was alive. You better believe it. Well, I'm pleased we've arrived at an understanding. To the matter at hand, I believe you know my associate. Roach, you here? Retired intelligence operatives. We have a club. Defended a king once. Ready to assassinate another now? Not proud of it, yet... I considered all the options and found none better. Radovid's proven many times he only ever forwards his own interests. When Kedwin asked for help, he invaded. When I begged him to support Vizima's defense, he showed me the door. The war nears its end. We've come to a decisive phase. We must act quickly. I've no illusions. Only a dead Radovid means a free Temeria. How's that work? Seems to me Radovid is Temeria's ally. Only as long as my guerrillas do what pleases him. Support his troops. 
Once he wins the war, he won't acknowledge the previous borders, nor wish to restore them. He dreams of a northern empire. As long as he lives, Temeria will never be free. But we didn't bring you here to bore you with politics. Radovid's a threat to Triss and Yennefer. Remember that. That ought to interest you most. What do you want from me? One of our co-conspirators ventured out to meet an informer. He's not returned, yet the plan's success hinges on what he's learned. We've got to find him. And you're the best tracker around. Tracker, huh? Really? Anything else you can tell me? Where this associate was last seen, for instance? He's traveling as a journeyman, itinerant cobbler. That's his cover. He was first to venture across the Pontar. Most probably did so via the Redanian checkpoint. With a man there who should know more, calls himself Gregor. Let a Redanian soldier in on your plan to murder Redania's king? Ah, uh, you see, there are even some Redanians who cannot abide Radovid's policies. And when simple soldiers notice something's not quite right, well, then it's time to act. Fine. I'll talk to Gregor. Thank you. And try not to draw too much attention. If you can, remember, the future hinges on the success of this mission. The future of Temeria. The future of the North. I know. I'll try not to fuck it up. See ya. We're counting on you, Geralt. Anyone see you come in? No one apart from Madame Serenity and your lackey. Off the street, I mean. No. I shall pretend no. I'm not here. I'm not nervous. Just cautious. <clears throat> Trey, you ought to nurture as well. I know, and I am. One. You can see it in your face. The two of you, Sada. What's he doing? We're about to hunt you, sir. We're not in no one's way. What bother the sound? Where are you scurrying to, Rich? Let's see your pass. Pass? What pass? Kind of pass confirms you ain't no mage. Can't enter or leave Novigrad without it. Why have you shut the city gates? So's we can clean it of mages, witches, and other scum that's crawled here since the war began. Aim to catch every last one of them, toss them on a flaming pyre like poxy livestock. Sorry, don't have a pass. You'll scurry no further then. Next! Hang on. How do I get one? Start by making an offering to the church. Then you'll need three pure souls to confirm... Let him through. Here's his papers. What? But we Not your concern. Back to your post. Regards from Siggy Reuven. Oh, 
Cool. What are you looking at? She cast no spells. O on my honor. An elf's honor would never. Looking for Gregor. You found him? Who are you? Geralt of Rivia. Dijkstra sent me. Been expecting someone. Let's take a walk. Nice job decorating your guard post. By orders of our gracious and merciful ruler, the good king. What was their crime? One on the right, a Pella from a village nearby, gave some bloke the wrong advice. Bloke's mates informed on him. Neighbor held a grudge against the one on the left, accused him of witchcraft. Just humans at each other's throats. That's not Radovid's fault. Hmm. Who do you think set down the laws that mean folk hung for such offenses? Seem to have lost all respect for the king. Why serve him? What am I to do? I was born a Redanian. I won't desert it. Besides, I enlisted when Vizimir was still on the throne. Now that was a good king. Wise and just. Radovid's something else. He's got war on the brain. And I don't want Redania to look anything like that. Let's talk. Must know why I'm here. Take it, it's about our cobbler friend. Yeah, he came through here on his way out. Didn't come back, though. The patrol went out yesterday, reported an abandoned cart a ways off the road. Aimed to go out there, see if it's his. Couldn't get away. Thanks. Good enough to start with. Farewell. Hold on. You got a pass? Won't get back through without one. Yeah, I got one. All right. Good luck. Thanks. See ya. Long live. Doesn't look damaged. 
Strange. Need to look around. Might find something. You're gonna make me wait. <laughs> Signs of a scuffle. Somebody got knocked out, dragged off. A shoe. Something tells me I'm on the right trail. Wonder where its wearer is. A shoe. Something tells me I'm on the right trail. Wonder where its wearer is. What's he doing here? <laughs> Greetings. Away go with you go. You did pick me. I can see that. Just wondering how those shoes is wound up here. Here you did grow. Like the mushroom. Shoes don't sprout from the ground. You see who left them behind here? Mm. Mm. Speak no log. Oh, I'm to get Og and Pog. Og and Pog? Those your friends? Findering of great Og Pog. Human finder on big suited cart. Suited big like so. Mm hmm. What did they do to this human? Ogpog man's cover to take. They're over. Do you eat him? Nah, no. Body man's, stringy man's, blah. Oggy make man's suited make. Fog, pog and rog suited make. You even need shoes? Suited on whom is it? Who is once Og, Pog, and Rog? Big lords, trollers be. Like humans is. So long. The troll cave must be nearby. Teach trolls how to cuss. Geralt, my ma, been bloody years. This whole. Relax, Og. This bugger's an old friend of mine. Bugger friend, I'll go! A wheeze in soup, bro. That'd make for an awfully veiny morsel. Right, true that. Just look at the plowed bastard. Naught but skin and bones. Well, General Trolls, our time I traveled on. You, uh, practice what I taught you. Give you a fucking exam next time I come through. Don't let no go. Tell her shit. Sit us down. Tell her suck cock shoes is big. I can 
can see you've made friends. But Tala needs to come with me. Blood know where Tala go. Tala shoes is mix. But I need him. Tala's here stay. You shoes is dot. Og shoes is dot not. Rug got dot. Pug got dot. Tala shoes is make. Tala go. Now let's all stay calm. Dollar will be back. He just needs to come with me. We'll uh, get some leather for your shoes. <laughs> Listen to Garrow. He's telling the plowing truth. <laughs> Look at your feet. They're fucking mammoth. Need a damn bale of leather to make shoes for them. Understand? Me and Geralt will get some cocksucking leather. Then I'll come back and make your blasted shoes for you. Shoes is pog for? And rug for? Two pairs for each of you now, pricks. Hmm. Dala go. But back come must. Knew you buggers were good mates. Sit tight. Be back in a bit. Children aren't trolls, and vice versa. Besides, butchers are sterile. Ah, but not changed a bit. Still tart as rotting rhubarb. Just happened to be passing through? Or did someone send you to find me? Roach and Dijkstra. Ah, mean they've not forgotten me. That's nice. Though I am grateful you came to get me, Geralt. Must have a lot on your mind. All those monsters to kill. Heard you three are planning to do some killing of your own. Huh? Hey, tell ya? Clowns. Kinda. Didn't offer any details, though. Maybe you'd be willing. A gesture of gratitude? Sorry, mate. If they were mum, I've got to be mum. <sighs> be that way. How'd you even wind up out here? Nilfgaard occupied land now. You saying the Black Ones have no use for cobblers? Probably brought their own. Brought fuck all as I see it. Amateurs in uniform. And you'll not find a better cobbler than Tala anywhere in the north. Yeah, right. You doubt me? You're a spy, and you're working with Roach and Dijkstra now. Doubt you went out there to fix Nilfgaardian boots. Ah, oh, I see you've thought about this. I admit it. Cobbler acts my cover. Who takes an interest in cobblers? No one. You sit there, doing your work, hammering on that soul. Blokes beside you talk. Bollocks, mostly. But sometimes, they say something interesting. Mike? That's all I'm willing to say. Thanks again, Geralt. I'll take it from here. And I'll be sure to tell Roach and Dijkstra how you buggered Og and his mates sideways. As I see it, they'll be so impressed they'll shit themselves. Tell me, you were a fence in Vizima. How'd you become a cobbler? Pick the least suspicious profession. The fence thing, shite cover. Pissed too many folk off. I didn't need the attention. Thought about being an innkeep. You meet a lot of folk, you know, tossers mostly, but willing to talk about all sorts of things. Problem is, you're tied down like a mutt on a chain. One in the same yard all the time. Whereas a cobbler travels everywhere. Better believe it. <laughs> Even cobble together this fancy rolling stall. Lovely. Bloody bullseye. I've made a small fortune out of it since the war started. Those pricks in uniform are always marching. Know what happens when their cocksucking boots disintegrate? Their feet bleed, blister up. Not a soldier out there wouldn't sell his mother for a comfy pair of combat boots. So what'll you do now? What do you mean? Head back to Novigrad. Dijkstra, Roach, and I have got a master plan to set in motion. I'll ask again. Details. Forgive me, mate. I'm plowing calm. 
See, were it just up to me, I'd spill it loud and proud. You're trustworthy like no one else I know. But I'm not on my own. So, blooming unilateral decisions are out of the question. Trap stays shut, I'm afraid. Right, gotcha. So long, Toller. And good luck. Oh, I could bloody use it. Radovid's one crafty ore with a clap. But we'll figure a way around that twat. Soon the old bloody North will be blathering about how he got fucked. Careful it's not also blathering about three assassins, drawn and quartered. <laughs> Fear not, Geralt. We know what we're doing. Farewell. Again, ready to trap.
think I know how to free Dandelion. Got a plan. But we need Dudu. Gotta find him. This plan? What is it? Our Doppler friend will assume Menga's form. Order Dandelion move to Oxenfurt. We can grab him on the way. Brilliant. But how do you aim to find Dudu? You're his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With the Doppler, the question's never where, but as whom? In the past, facing trouble, he disappeared, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time, this time he hasn't returned. Known Dudu long. I know this might sound strange, but I can't be sure. It seems he'd been circling me for some time in various forms, trying to attract my attention. Can't blame him for making the effort. Thank you. I failed to notice him at first. Then he decided to shoot the moon, assumed Dandelion's form. What tipped you off? How'd you know it wasn't Dandelion? You do not much of a singer. No. He simply spoke about something other than himself. We need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with, someone he trusts. Dandelion? Irina Reynolds' troop, that's all really. Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. So he liked going to the mummings? Yes. I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. He certainly could have counted on the Foxen's help. Hmm. So if these mummers are ready to help... We need only mention Dudu. Irina and company are deeply indebted to him. Dudu and the mummers. How'd they meet? That was my doing. Some opening night. Maxim lay comatose in his wardrobe, drunk as a otter. I thought of Dudu. Hard to imagine a better actor than a Doppler. And Dudu revealed himself to them just like that? I didn't think it wise to tell anyone. But Dudu and Irina took to each other completely and right away. He fell so hopelessly in love with the theatre. That he started performing with you? Yeah. Now Irina feels terribly guilty. They let him put himself in danger. She can't forgive herself. Maybe we could use a play. You know, work a message to do you into something. Lure him out of hiding that way. Not a bad idea, but I doubt a few lines would suffice. Besides, do you really think Doody whiles away his days attending mummings he knows by heart? So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play. From scratch. Something grand. Something that will grab Doody's attention. So most importantly, it must have a splendid title. It must be the talk of the town. If you wish, we can start on it right away. Not sure I'm cut out to write a play. Maybe you're better off doing this on your own. It's sure to go quicker if you help me. You'll see. We'll have a grand time together. All right. Guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Actually, I was hoping... The key is to convince Dudu that he can rely on you, and that we wish to free Dandelion. The message must be clear, though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence, meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? I'll do. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Povis. I know. Lorenzo Molla. A tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit and the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide and can only count on the help of his friend, who's a witcher, who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No, better. His beloved. Hmm. What do you think? Sounds great. Really think so? 
Lorenzo Moller. Yeah. Hmm. Or perhaps not. Wait, I've got it! We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlenwald. Secret lovers, their betrothal, a curse, a cruel queen, bell sounding midnight. But... At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Pervert. They want him dead, but at that instant a witcher steps in. And everything ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You wish to say something? Will I get a say in any of this, or have you decided everything already? Why are you cross? It's the nature of the creative process. We toss around ideas and choose the best ones. Meaning yours. Well, you must admit I'm better acquainted with the theatre. Naturally, you'll play a part in shaping this play. Contribute to the work as a whole. Dandelion will explain how it works later. We need a good title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I have some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? Of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. I have two really good ones. The Doppler's Salvation and A Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph. Which do you prefer? Let's go with the Doppler's Salvation. It's shorter, catchier. Just one problem. No Dopplers in that story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simpler. We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. A witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? Mm, all right. So it's a comedy. I was thinking more along dramatic lines. But if you prefer something lighter, Listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. the safer option. Very well. I must get to work. While you must pick a corner, sit down, read silently, or just think. All right? Fine, since you don't need help with the writing. Geralt, wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, 
Did it, sir? Ugh. Just keep quiet. <sighs> Done. I could make a small masterpiece of this had I a bit more time, but... We're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you weave in? Hidden message? You were gonna work something in, like come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or... That wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all! You wrote it to contact Dudu. That was the purpose. Fine. So how do you see this working? I don't know. I was counting on recognizing him by his scar. Or just improvising? Shall we worry about that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Sure you know where to find her? The troop performs in the butcher's yard of the main square. Join us later. See ya. A place of culture. This where Madame Marina's troupe performs? Yeah, but you can only enter with a ticket. There's no performance now. Mamas are just rehearsing. Process is interesting to observe, though. So, want a ticket? No performance. Said so yourself. You can still get a ticket. What'll it be? Need a ticket? Yeah, one. Here. Just stay out of sight, eh? Awful bashful, these mummers in rehearsal. Oh, Madame Marina, can we talk? Geralt of Rivia. Dandelions told us so much about you. Is he with you? No, but I hope to bring him back soon. Here to talk about Dudu. Hmm. Let's speak in my quarters at the back of the theater. We'll be undisturbed there. How can I help? We've not seen Dandelion or Doodoo recently. Dandelion's in trouble. That much I guessed. Though I am curious how serious it is. Did he seduce a powerful man's wife and go into hiding? Or did he write an offensive couplet about the priests of the Eternal Fire? Worse. Lots. I'm gonna try to help him. Gotta contact Dudu first. But he's disappeared as well. I have a plan to lure him out of hiding, but I need your help. Can I count on you? Naturally, but what can we possibly do? I want to stage a play. Something that'll really draw the crowds. I see. And you hope it'll get Dudu's attention as well, draw him here. So it must be an entirely new play? And who will write it? Priscilla, actually. She's done writing it. 
Tells the story of a witcher who rescues a Doppler from certain death. Mm. Sounds interesting. I'll gladly have a glance. But first we must think about getting the word out and organizing some protection. Ushers. Would you mind tending to these matters? How can I help you spread the word about the premiere? Well, we'd like all the city to hear about it, so we must clearly talk to the Puffins. Who are the Puffins? Street artists. Get them to announce the premiere, and even the muscles on the harbor piling will hear about it. Where'll I find them? They did occupy some rooms in the bits in a townhouse, but I can't be sure they're still there. I've not seen them in the streets lately. They may very well have hung up their body hose. See if I can find them, and if they'll work for us. Think we need ushers? A play about Dopplers could be controversial, but are ushers absolutely necessary? Can't be sure if you've attended many performances, but Novigrad crowds can be particularly difficult. Rotten apples, tomatoes, eggs, that sort of thing? Axes, butcher's knives, and bricks, actually. All right. Know anyone appropriate? Try the docks, perhaps. You're bound to find some men willing to do any work for a few crowns. Thanks for helping. I'll come back once I've found some ushers. See you then. On your way? You ladies and men are strapping the mug to the work is They've taken over crippled Kate's. Taken over? How's that? Clobbered the innkeep, tossed out the girls, then set to drinking. They've been going since yesterday, apparently celebrating some big loo. Yeah, sounds like Skelligers. But you look to be an honest man. Help us. Drive away the hooligans. We've not much, but it'll make a tidy sum if we all pitch in. Fine. I'll see what I can do. Really? So there are good men left in the world? Sorry, mate. Gotta fill your horn elsewhere. This establishment's part of Skellige today. Seems to me we're still in Novigrad. And in Novigrad, Novigrad rules apply. Rules you happen to be breaking. Just how's that? You're not allowed to drink in peace. Have a bit of fun. Leg it, man, before you taste the wrath of a Skelliger. Collect your friends and go. On your best behavior now. Hey. Gents, time to go. No swords, but I prefer me trusty axe. Damn the black one! Thanks so much. We'd not have managed on our own. We're not rich. But I hope this is enough. Keep it. He did more than I do. Thank you. It's folk like you restore my faith in humankind.
Good fight. Some nice footwork there. Challenging me, or is it hell you want to face? A witcher versus the beast of Metana. Killer instinct versus primal rage. You guys really from Nilfgaard? We's from plowing Metana, damn it! Oh, Nilfgaard. Raised by wild hands on the windswept plains of Magdara. Brothers forged in bloodshed. Veterans of Metina's infamous filthy arenas. Who dares face the wild men of the South? Who will look the beasts in the eye? I'd like to hire you to help out. We're staging a play. Need us to kick some ass on stage. Actually want you to usher. Keep the peace. Make sure no one's ass gets kicked on stage or off. Got the wrong man. Ass kicking's what we do. I pay well. Stand to make more than you do here. Expecting trouble? Well, we need to bust some heads. Can't rule it out. Bricks could start flying. Heard that from a reliable source. Now! Wanna smash some brick layers? Oh, he does, he does! Oh, I don't know my own brother. Give me that coin. And don't fret. We'll be there before any of the, uh, dancing starts. Clear as the eternal fire. Top of the middle. Nice tune. Damn sad, though. Then it successfully conveys my mood. What do you seek here? Looking for the puffins. Have I found them? We've no coin. Leave us be! Think there's been a mistake. Sorry. Thought our landlord had hired another thug to collect from us. Another thug? Flattered, thanks. Forgive us. You look threatening, and we've had our share of trouble lately. Nisa's on edge these days. We all are.
Don't want any coin from you. In fact, I'm willing to pay you, provided you agree to get the word out about Madame Arena's new play. Oh, afraid that's impossible. Ever since we premiered our fateful ballad about Holy Hemelfart, who his faith ignores, gorges himself, diddles old whores, Fatso's gang has been harassing us incessantly. Fatso's gang? Common thugs and the church's pay. City's full of gangs like that now. They threatened me, sir. Said they round off her pointy ears with a carving knife. They don't let us perform. Chase away spectators, destroy our instruments. Lately they've taken to lurking outside our home. We're at wit's end, no clue what to do. They harm any of you? No, not yet. But it's merely a question of time. Nisa overheard talking about setting fire to something. All right. Say I get Fatso and his boys to leave you alone. Will you publicize Arena's play then? Of course. But you shan't find it easy. There's no talking to that lot. I'm not a great talker anyway. So, look who we got here. Is it just me, or you got cat eyes? Right, he does. Stray cat must have fucked his mum. <laughs> now, what you doing in the city of eternal fire, cat shit? Leave the puffins alone. Worms that insulted our Archimel fuck. Called him an allmonger. I'd sooner snuff out the holy flame itself. Tell them fucking poets to come down here. Shove their fruits up their blaspheming assholes. Yeah, they play a different tune then, every time they fought. <laughs> Leave the puffins alone. Aye, we will. Alone. What the hell? Black magic is a fucking witch. Get him! Rumble time! What? Lost the nerve? What a sight! You really showed them! One, two over the back, then pow! Right in the noggin! I'll finally be able to leave my home without hiding beneath the hood. Thank you very much! Come on, it was nothing. Oh, it was something, right? I don't dare think we've forgotten our promise. We'll strip our voices ragged praising Arena's new play. How much will I owe you? Not a copper! Helped us out. See no reason why we shouldn't help you. Get half of town to come to the play. Wait and see. So quick preparations and we'll be out in the streets. <laughs> Till the next. There you are. Managed to hire some ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. Wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I have very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher, and the queen. Certainly, you should play the prince and the princess. 
these performances bring in much coin? Well, it varies. On good days, the square is barely capable of accommodating everyone. Other times, we're lucky to earn a handful of coppers. Of course we shall pay you a fee as well. You're a member of the ensemble now. Hmm. Thanks. Who is playing the Witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him. But I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer to the troupe? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. It's a good idea. Doubt I'll get a standing ovation, but Dudu will see me. That's the key. But you will make an effort, won't you? Learn your lines, at least. I'll give it a shot, of course. So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet, I do have more stage experience.
Let's have Priscilla do it. No offense, but uh, most people... Assign greater importance to appearance than to talent. I understand. I shall let her know. I'm certain she'll be wonderful. So who do you see playing the Doppler Prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safer bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique, but he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bollier, outstanding actor, and audiences love him. But sadly, I can never be sure he'll show up sober, or that he'll show up at all.
Let's risk it and give the rule to Maxim. He's had a good spell of late, so maybe he won't let us down. All right, got the cast figured out. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? Working on it. Still need to learn my lines. It's a lot to memorize. One who knows an entire bestry by heart and can blend dozens of alchemical brews can surely memorize a few lines of rhymed verse. Good luck. Closer to being ready for this premiere? Halberdier number two is in the props room crying. Apart from that, it's going splendidly. And you? Are you ready? All right, let's start. Want to get this over with. Everyone says so before their first time. Afterwards, it's impossible to drag them off the stage. You'll see. You'll love it. Zoltan, what are you doing here? Pessy <laughs> told me you ought to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me what you are. Are you going to wear hose and a codpiece? Come, Geralt. You must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, welcome. We have for you an exquisite comedy. Its title, The Doppler's Salvation. The players, Witcher Geralt as himself, Katarina as the queen, Leo Ribe as the humble servant, appearing as the prince, the delight of audiences far and wide, Maxime Bollier. And as the princess, the lovely Trabaritz with the voice of a nightingale, Priscilla. Majesty, the monster slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. But first, some wine to steady my hand. <laughs> Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. Her monster shall show a tonight's beastly splendor. Stand guard, beware, kill the beast if he shows. Your reward you'll receive on my finest pillows. To slay beasts most foul, t'was for this I was made. I kill as my calling, not just to get paid. He swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Ah, oh, my child will pity her love, this beast. Though at least ere he goes, he'll enjoy a last feast. Gathered are we, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day, the princess's betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. 
Perhaps midst the guests he hides, in fear. My dear, long have we hid our love's tender fires. Months I held back my loins, heart desires. Tonight shall it end. Be my wife. That's my plea. And then I shall pluck your ripe virginity. <laughs> Oh, darling, I will, I will, I will! Wait, with wine must we toast this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. Ah! Tis not wine, but a brew spiked with silver. My bowels contract, a foul beast to deliver. Hark, hark, tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. Seems men's hearts can love for changelings foster. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword, let fly the killing stroke. Stop, stop, beast or man. Tis my love, my betrothed. Sheath your blades, fear a Doppler. Tis a thing most foolish. Changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes. But a heart that is base, such as in this knave aches. Witcher, tis true. This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly, without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk. And its moral is this. No monster is he whose shape can shift. The Witcher is just a true Doppler's friend. But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. Guard! Call the guard! Remove the traitor at once! Hey, hear the princess's command. Come up here. Come on then, governor. Up you go. On stage. Toss the tray, I scum in the dungeon! Don't be afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after. <laughs> Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! Give it a rest, mate. Can't you see it's all in fun? This is a comedy. A ghoul could play the prince. Light it up, for God's sake. Me. How'd you do it? Greetings, Dudu. Heard about that souvenir Horson left on your face. So, you know everything? Have you seen Siri? No. Still looking for her. Geralt! Masterful! You did great. Haven't they laughed that hard in ages? Lads won't believe it when I tell them. Explain one thing to me. How'd you and Dandelion manage to displease Reuven, Horson, and the temple guard all at the same time. 
It's not as if we planned it. <laughs> Why didn't you find Priscilla or the Mummers? Contact them. I came to a few performances, different shape each time, but I dared not show myself. Feared I'd put them at risk. Then I got word of a new mummy. Saw it as my chance to learn something, anything, about Siri and Dandelion. I know Siri went back to Horsens to get you. How'd you manage to escape? I ran after her, wanting to keep up, but I'd have been a hindrance. She called out to me and treated me to shapeshift and disappear. I tried to find them, Siri and Dandelion. It was as if they turned to vapor. Fearing for my life, I shifted each day, becoming someone else. Even considered turning into Siri to trick her pursuers, but... Slow down, Marmalade. Hmm. Geralt, when did you last see Cirilla? Hmm? Been a while, hasn't it? A while, yeah. For me, likewise. Must be a full grown lass by now. Do 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 us a wee favor. Show us Siri for a moment. Geralt? Transform. Change into her. I feel strange, both of you staring at me bug-eyed. Is that enough? Yeah, plenty. Bad idea. Not angry with me, are you, Geralt? No. I feel relieved. And Dandelion? Were you able to find him? Witch hunters nabbed him, but there's good news too. Menga's dead. Ugh. A fiend. Good thing someone finally killed it. Though another, just as bad or worse, would likely take its place. Wouldn't be so quick to assume. Got a feeling it could be a decent fellow. What's he talking about? We think we can free Dandelion. Just need your help. What could I do? Take on Menga's appearance. Then go and give the order for Dandelion to be moved to Oxenfurt. Or lie in ambush in a ravine en route. Spring Dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. Wait, not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where Dandelion's being held. No one knows Menga's dead. No need to worry about being exposed. No one save you. Would this have anything to do with the fire at the Witch Hunter's barracks? We were in the area. <laughs> I sorely regret not seeing that. Dandelion's on Temple Isle, imprisoned there. You'll need to find out exactly where. But what if they grow suspicious? Start asking questions. I'll bet my best axe no one will pester the commander of the Temple Guard. Besides, you're a Doppler and an actor, and an actor and a Doppler. You could double the spark to improvise your way out of any situation. If things get spicy, you'll just nip round the corner and transform into a buxom wench, a, a jackdaw, or whatever else strikes your fancy. Of course, it's that simple. Thanks. Listen, you'll manage. Everybody believes Menga's missing. You can make up any story you want. My lads and me will lie in ambush in the ravine. Get out of lane, join us, and we'll await word from you. But how am I to contact you as Menga? Send word that the convoy's left. You'll need to figure that out. Come on, Guile's your middle name. So, we all clear? Dudu, get your ass to Temple Isle. I'm off to assemble my crew. And we'll be waiting for you, Geralt. Yeah, see you in the ravine. Whoa, wait! Hold on! What happens after? I, I hope you don't expect me to continue as Menga, live like Chappelle, burning the occasional heretic to keep up appearances? No, once it's over, we expect to see you at the Rosemary in time, where we'll all meet. To get pissed like wild badgers. So, settled? Let's get to work. You were marvelous. Not a single mistake. The performance in general. What did you think? I doubt the audience understood it all, but that's to be expected. I'm just pleased the Puffins got the word out. 
That was quite the crowd. Such a shame Maxim went on stage inebriated after all. Some of the crowd demanded refunds. Here you are. Your fee. I must admit your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimalist. Did you study anywhere? At Kaer Morhen. Minimum expression means maximum effect. Thanks for the coin. Take care now. See those poor wretches who fled their <laughs> Nowadays, one note, one word's enough to send you to the stake. Swords? Wands. Safe round here. Like a new race teach, you're a bigger rag picker than me. Hard times, really, then, uh, so what's it gonna be? What do you have on offer? Redanian dumplings, speciality of the house, heartily recommended. Blimey. A vat gun in my establishment? It can't be. How do you know I'm a witcher? You joking? Silver blades. Who else uses them? Crafted in Mahakam, am I right? Must be about 40 inches long. An elven sword expert. You must be Ibir Hattori. Ah, indeed. I am. Geralt of Rivia. Heard a lot of good things about you. A pleasure, Geralt. How might I help you? Care to try a dumpling? Mmm. Tasty. Mm, glad to hear it. Anything else I can do for you? Looking for a good swordsmith. No one? <laughs> Three swords on your back. A bit much, don't you think? Good one. But all jests aside, you make swords anymore? Really? It's dumplings now. I must make a living. But I miss the hammer, anvil, and bellows. Oh, the heat of the forge. Were it not for that swiving Van Horn. Don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I shan't greet a witcher with dumplings. Come, let me show you something. Quite a collection. Premium quality, too. Thank you. I've kept these as mementos. Damn shame you don't make them anymore. I'd gladly replace what I have with this kind of steel. Someone with your skills? Why the hell are you needing dough? This might surprise you. The pay is better. But above all, it's much safer. 
Food vendors rarely disappear or end up as cripples. I see. Someone controlling Novigrad smithing market? Not officially, though... All supplies go through Ernst Van Horn. And they say he plays cards with Cleaver. Frequently. Ernst Van Horn. Who's that? Modest beginnings. A small dockside workshop. However, he proved extremely ambitious. He knew he could not compete with other sword makers on skill alone, so he resorted to other methods. Other methods? A bit of slander here. Buying business debt cheaply and taking over there. And whenever the competition was a plowing non-human, he'd accuse them of being Havocars. Is that how he did you in? I did not give up without a fight. I went to Town Hall, negotiated. Alas, it was all in vain. He'd already enlisted Cleaver's protection. And in Novigrad, few dare get in Cleaver's way. Tried negotiating? Making a deal? With Van Horn? Do you jest? He's a proper heartless bastard. Either play by his rules and pay him, or go out of business. Hmm, I see. But I shan't complain. Dumplings have proven an excellent source of income. It's just... well... You miss the heat of the forge. Tried getting supplies from someone else? Those rogues of the underworld control all the sources. How am I to talk to them? Unless... Would you be willing to help me? Want me to help you get your supplies? How? Just come with me to a meeting. As my bodyguard, it'll bolster my confidence. Truth be told, not so long ago, I tried negotiating some iron deliveries with one of the King of Beggars' men. Right. King wouldn't worry about an embargo Cleaver imposed. It's just... He demanded an inordinately large share of the profits. I thought you might help me negotiate. I don't mean gratis. I'm certain we can agree on a fee. Could I... choose something from your collection? Oh, forget this rubbish. I shall forge you a sword fit for killing gods. I don't know. Criminal underworld. Not really sure I want to meddle with them. I badly need your help. Van Horn is a Van Horsen. He must be taught a lesson. I'd be eternally grateful. Plate armor, yours. Or perhaps you'd like a catapult or a, a trebuchet. Fine. Arrange the meeting. Splendid. Meet me after dark, near the crane at the docks. Greetings, Witcher. It's nearby. Ready? Lead the way. Splendid. Come. The King of Beggars, man. His name is Tin Boy. What do you know about him? Not much. He's easy to eye, so tread carefully. We need him far more than he needs us. <laughs> Alone, elf. Who's this? A concerned friend. Ah, uh, fine. Here's how we see things. The boss at Loggerheads with Cleaver. There's got to be a payoff. We've got an offer, and it's non-negotiable. Surprise us. A steady supply of iron 
in exchange for 50% of your profits. Give you 25. Who are you to dictate anything to the King of Beggars? Thirty-fives <sighs> as low as we'll go. Fine. We'll take your offer. But perhaps we should... You should go home, Elf. Agreed. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, tin boy. Too much drink. It softened your bloody mind. This here's Cleaver's territory, you prick whittler. Problem. Damn it. Who's this now? Cleaver's boys! <laughs> 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 Good. Damn it. Who's this now? Cleaver's boys! Death travels fast! What do we do? Well, how long are you gonna make them wait?
Damn it. Who's this now? Cleavers, boys! News travels fast. What do we do?
Damn it. Who's this now? Cleaver's boy! Damn it. Who's this now? Cleaver's boys! News travels fast! What are you doing?
Damn it. Who's this now? Flavors, boys! Yes, travels fast! Cut that in. Time to end. Follow me. Right. Sure hope there's a payoff at the end of this. So, supplies. That's something we can count on? Who'd you take me for? Gave you me word, didn't I? But I'd hire guards if I was you. You never know with Cleaver. Think they'll come back? A few of Cleaver's little shits escaped. 
Bugger probably already knows everything. I've no men to spare, can't guarantee your safety. If I was you, I'd lay low for a time. Thanks, Tin Boy. Down the line, the bosses will make a deal. You'll be left alone. All you gotta do is stay alive till then. <laughs> what now? Here we chat, while your partner's just flown the coop. Damn it. Hey, wait. <laughs> Good luck. Hattori, wait! Tori, you in there? Open up. No chance. Leave me be. Don't be silly. Let me in. No, never. I shall stay in here until Middenvern. Forgive me, Geralt. That was a mistake. To parley with bandits, make deals. Too late now. King of Beggars will get you supplies, and then what? You'll have to pay him. What have I done? Geralt, you must help me! No, I won't. I'm a Witcher, not a bodyguard. Precisely! You must find me a bodyguard! Geralt, I beg you! They'll kill me! anyone specific in mind? There's a mercenary, Sucrus, often drinks at the Sturgeon. He's an old pirate, a Skelliger. He used to work for me. Huge as an oak, wouldn't fear a dozen cleavers. Can't you talk to him yourself? We parted... not on the best of terms. That is to say, he demanded a bonus and I... Didn't pay him. Great. What now? Am I supposed to pay your dues? I'm certain you'll find some way to agree. Geralt, please don't leave me this way. Hattori, still building barricades? Still. I'll be back. Don't leave me here! Oh no. Another one, be gone! You witches are trouble. Village has suffered enough. Not one of the Baron's men, are you? Went to the forest or brushwood yesterday. What happened? 
It's your mug. You naughty other huntsman. That some fiend prowls the thickets. What am I to hate my hut with? Oh, I. Hear about the contract. Any idea what this monster is? Nay, but proper huge it must be. Slaughtered no less than a dozen wolves. Ripped their guts out. But left lots uneaten. Means malice rules it. Makes it kill. Howls and bellows, nights something fierce. Folk are afeard to venture into the woods, though hunger grips the village. Could tend to the beast for you, but not for free. How much do you need? That's some we can agree to. Fine, I'll take care of it. Fortune smiled upon us when it brought you here. Good hunting to ye. It matter where the grub's from, as long as the bowl's full. But my fault is it six feet under the birches. Wiped out the whole pack. Big, really big. fur when I rubbed against the trunk. Scent's still there. Stinks like fiend shit. Right. Old and dried out. Fiend's been around a while.
hear about the cop. Night. How much do you need? That's the sum we can agree. Fine. Fortune small. Ye seek trouble? Dump. Big, really big. Monster wiped out the whole pack. against the trunk. The scent's still there. Recently, wonder what killed it. Another trail. Tracks too small for a fiend, though. Both lost loads of blood. Paw prints. The fight lasted a while.
attract the Choit's attention. Smell this five miles away. Beast is sure to show. Just gotta wait in the cave. say
Alegría. Not so fast, Roach. Short was prowling the nearby forest, found itself competing for territory with a fiend, so it turned aggressive. A chort? Fiend? Why they be bothering us? Think more'll come? Think they've done made a pact to take our village? Doubt it, but I'll be sure to keep my eyes open, see if there's anything else out there. Cheers then, Witcher. Here, take the purse. All the folk of the village chipped in. Thanks. Take care now.